Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. This is going to be an introduction to my newest project, which is going to be this guy. This is the start of what is going to be a guitar amp. See, I've already got some holes in. But uh, this is a cake pan. Something that people who are normal bake cakes in. And uh, anyways, I found one for pretty cheap and uh, decided I want to turn it into a guitar amp chassis. So that's what I've done. I have a couple of transformers here. Uh, this one I got off of eBay. It's kind of a mysterious... All it really says is 110 volt, 12 watt. Um, so I guess we'll see. And then this is actually a 5E3 style, very authentic paper and wax 5E3 style output transformer. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some sort of 5E3 inspired build, probably with some heavy modifications. So. This is going to be it. Hope you enjoy. Quick update on the Cake Pan 5E3 build. I've got some holes drilled in the chassis. Not as pretty as it could be, but got something done here. Um, yeah, I just used a drill to drill the holes, and I also have a bit, this guy right here for uh, getting the right, a step bit for getting the right sized holes, and then I used my Dremel to uh, deburr all the little holes, so we should be good to go. I'm going to have my transformers like that, all these wires going to go into that little hole there. Um, yeah, we're going to be, be good to go. Guessing, probably have the input over here, some controls here on the front, pilot light, on the back, we'll have a speaker, might be upside down, wrecked, and then a uh, fuse and a power switch. So, keep going from here. Okay, another update in my 5e3 build. You can see I've got some components assembled onto my circuit board. Uh, just a couple of quick thoughts and tips. Little tiny details when putting this on. Uh, these eyelet boards are pretty easy to work with, um, but just be a little bit careful when you're bending component leads. And try to do your best to kind of measure out the lengths once and then get the components and leads in there just right. Um, that can be really helpful. One thing I also like to do is put it, everything in first, and you see how I haven't soldered anything in yet? It gives you a chance to review it, and if you make any mistakes, which you possibly will, if it's your first time, then it's a nice uh, kind of fail-safe. You don't have to unsolder anything. Next thing I would recommend is to try to be consistent with the, the directionality of your resistors, if that makes any sense. So for example, you can see in here, uh, those, these, are, these are 68K resistors. So I have 6, 8, and then the, the orange gives you the decimal place. Um, I try to keep that consistent, all the, so I go top to bottom. It doesn't really matter what you want to do, just try to be consistent. Um, another little detail is to have the capacitors rotated so you can easily see what the value is. Um, then you don't have to be kind of wondering or anything like that. And then also to have with these guys that they're all on the same side, just to try to be consistent. But uh, yeah, this is basically just about following your diagram. I'm using the diagram from Rob Robinette's website. It's been very helpful. And uh, yeah, overall really great. Mojo Tones kits makes it really easy. This is a small parts kit for the Tweed Deluxe Style Amp. And they make it really, really simple because um, everything is listed right here, exactly what they are. Um, I still like to use a multimeter and read the resistors, but overall it's uh, pretty straightforward. So let's keep moving on from here. All right, quick update on the amp. I have most of the holes punched in the chassis and uh, drilled out. I just used my drill, and I started with this little bad boy right here, and then I used a step drill bit to go ahead and open the holes. Um, I took along with me some example, so I know exactly how, you know, if it can fit, then it's good. So yeah, we're uh, getting pretty close on the chassis. Made a little more progress. As you can see, I've got some tube sockets installed. I've got everything I need on the back installed, including my speaker jack, 
my fuse, my on and off switch. Uh, my transformers are secured nicely. On the front, you can see I'm making some nice headway. I've got an input jack. Went to the hardware store and uh, picked up some non-conductive washing, <laughs> or I guess washers. So then uh, I can actually ground my preamp, not at the jack, but at a more secure location with a screw and a bolt. Um, got my three pots installed, my pilot light. And then the inside of the chassis is uh, pretty yes. much ready yes. for this bad boy. And uh, we'll just keep moving yes. forward.